two-way tables are actually an incredibly useful way of representing data and that's why we're going to look at how to create them and how to complete them. What on God's green earth are two-way tables? A two-way table looks something like this. It's called a two-way table because it goes two different ways. We have the columns and we have the rows. Notice the lines at the end. That represents the column for the total and the row for the total. That's where the totals go. You might already be a bit lost, but we're going to do an example just to show you what I'm talking about. In this example, there's going to be a survey. This survey did not happen in real life. I'm completely making it up. A survey was carried out asking adults and children whether or not they owned a tablet. I do not own a tablet. I think I'm going to get one soon. I'm just uh, going to save up until I can afford one. But I don't have one at the moment. But I wasn't asked, so it doesn't really matter. The following two-way table, maybe the iPad 5, the following two-way table represents their the answers given. Along the top in the columns are the different answers you can give. For example, tablet was one answer and no tablet is another answer. In fact, that's the only two answers you can give. And the final column, as I said, is total. The row are the people giving the answers. So adult and children or child. And again, at the bottom, we have total. We would have to be given a certain amount of data, otherwise we can't complete the table. We're told that 10 adults did not have a tablet, and 16 children did have a tablet. We're told that 25 people in total had tablets, and that there were 22 children in total we can actually, just with that data alone, complete the two-way table. How might we do that? If you notice, there's 22 children in total. 16 children had tablets. How many do you reckon did not have tablets? We could do 22, take away 16, which is indeed 6. Can you spot another box that we could fill out? Well, there's 10 adults who don't have a tablet and 6 children who do not have a tablet. So in total, that's 16 people who do not have a tablet. Let's do one more. We're getting on a roll. There are 16 children with a tablet and 25 people in total who had a tablet. How many do you reckon are adults? See what I'm doing? I'm just picking on the rows and columns where I have two bits of data. And whenever I have two bits of data, I can always fill out the third bit of data. So there's 16 children who have a tablet. There was 25 people in total who had a tablet. So how many are adults? 25 take away 16 is 9. In other words, 9 plus 16 is the 25 total. We can now fill out this row. If there was 9 adults who had a tablet, 10 adults who did not have a tablet, how many adults in total? That would be 19. And finally, the last box is the total of all the people in the survey. 19 adults plus 22 children is 41. And we can double check that's correct because if you notice 25 people had a tablet and 16 people did not have a tablet. And if you add those two together, that's 41 as well. So we have completed our two-way table. That was pretty exciting. But we're going to do a new question now. In this question, we have to imagine our own columns and create our own two-way table. 
So this is going to be about creating a two-way table. Another survey is carried out. This time we ask people who definitely have a tablet, who have a tablet. And again, I do not have a tablet. I do debate in my head sometimes whether or not I should buy a tablet. They do look useful, but I'm just wondering, because I have a, a smartphone and a computer, maybe sometime soon I'll buy a tablet. Who knows? I'll keep you updated. This time we ask people who have a tablet. We ask them whether it is an iPad or a different brand. A different brand. Here are some of the results. And after this, something to look forward to, we're going to create our own two-way table based on this data and complete it. Buy one, get one free. This video is amazing. Right. 84 males said they owned an iPad. 84 males in the survey said they owned an iPad. 94 females, excuse me, 95 females, make it a little bit different, in the survey said they did not own an iPad, which means they must have owned a different brand because everyone owns iPads. There were 120 people in there were 120 females in the survey. I'm just making up random numbers. <laughs> it's quite fun. There were 161 people who own, did not own an iPad, who owned a different brand. Right. If you just saw that in a question, you might not even think to draw a two-way table. You might think, how is a two-way table going to help me? But if I gave you a question over here, let's say, what would be a hard one to figure out? For example, how many people owned an iPad in total? How many people in the survey owned an iPad? Well, you'd look at that data and you'd be like, well, there's 84 males who said they owned an iPad. How might I figure out how many females owned an iPad? And you might not be sure. I could ask you an even harder question, though. How many people were there in the survey altogether? Now, that is tricky. How many people were in the survey altogether? But actually, with the magic of two-way tables, we can answer both of those questions quite quickly. What we do is we quickly fill in the columns. Let's say this column is an iPad. This column is different brand, so any other different brand, and I know there's many. This column is always total. This bottom row is going to be total. This row is men, and this row here are females. And watch how quickly we can find out the answers to our questions. Well, we know there's 84 males who said they owned an iPad, so we fill that in. There are 95 females who said they did not own an iPad, so that's a different brand, so that's 95. There are 120 females in total, so 120 females in total and there were 161 people who owned a brand other than iPad so the total for people who owned a different brand is 161 let's do a bit of maths we have a column here with two bits of data so we can do some minusing 161 take away 95 let's do that in our head that's 66 
You can always check that with a calculator. There's 95 females who didn't own an iPad and 120 females in total. That leaves 25 females who did own an iPad. 84 males who owned an iPad, 25 females who owned an iPad. In total, that would be 109. Notice how quickly we're answering our questions. How many people in the survey owned an iPad? 109. How many males were there? Well, 84 plus 66 would be 150. And finally, how many people in the survey altogether? Using our incredible two-way table, 120 plus 150 will give us the number of males and the number of females together, which is the total number of people, which is 270. That's a taste of the beauty of two-way tables.